what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's great to see you again. I know it's been a full day, no game leave content. You're probably waiting, laying in bed, just waiting for that next game leave video. I get it, I do the same exact thing. And now let's hop into it. Today we're gonna be talking about Zeus. So recently Zeus has been completely rebranded. He's gone from a Nike user to an Adidas user, which means instead of maxing out your lightning bolt, uh, which is Nike. Wow, guys, see how creative I am? You're gonna be maxing out your Arc Lightning, which also is lightning and static feel. But yeah, if you guys are excited for this video where I'm gonna be talking about the new Zeus, the new way you build his items, the new way you build his skills, and kind of just the way you play the hero in general to get a lot of farmers snowball and not die, smash that like button, absolutely break it to make the like button broken. And of course, go sign up to Game League. Now, let's get into the video. All right, and quickly before we do, I just want to say over on the Game Leap website, I got a whole plethora of videos coming. Let me quickly, uh, let me talk about what I got. I'm going to go look just for you guys. So I got two videos I'm about to tell you about. Number one that's coming to the website is the advanced tips that no one knows to win the lane. I show you every little thing that happens in the laning stage that you can use to win the laning stage. Then I also have a clock for analysis on how I talk about how to get free kills and how to find pickoffs using the mini maps. So over on the website, as you can see, I really dive deep into some advanced topics and they're just going to help you get to the next rank even faster than you currently are. Cause I know if you're watching these videos, you are skyrocketing, but now let's get into the Zeus video. Okay. So we're watching Facherito. I hope that is not some racial slur in Spanish. If it is, I apologize, but, uh, basically let's talk about his items. Now I do slightly disagree with this player's items, by the way, this is a rank 500 player. So it's obviously pretty legit, pretty long game. So we'd be skipping through of it and going over uh, the key points. And I don't fully agree with what he does. Now I will talk about what I think his mentality is. He buys three mangoes, two clarities, and he's against Alina. Lena is a very tough Zeus matchup in my opinion, as she can hit you a lot and you can't man up to her at any point in time. You only can try to chip her down. And therefore he buys a lot of mana regen in attempt to actually just stay away from the Lena. He wants to just stay back in the wave, avoid the fact that she just mans up with her inner fire and, um, or whatever it's called, Fury Soul. And that's his game plan. However, when you usually build Zeus, I recommend you go with the standard item build, which is a circlet or two circlets or a circlet and two mantles, a branch of fairy fire and a tango. No mana regen. Now there are other builds as well, but that's what I like. Just a basic right click. And you might be asking speed, what? Basic right click on Zeus. Yes, if you go basic right click items on Zeus, you have 70 damage. You know what that means? You're a Magnus and you can deny a lot of creeps. It's really good. But uh, let, let's let's move on into the laning stage. So getting into the lane, you do not want to queue every single creep. You only really want to queue uh, the range creep and creeps you think are going to be easily contested by your opponents. And you'll see that in this clip here. He's going to auto attack, queue it up, misses that CS, absolute noob. And uh, you know, this one I disagree with. So let's actually talk about this queue. I don't like this queue. At all and and this is you know something that maybe even facherito can improve i'm gonna stop saying that i actually have no clue what it means but he just cues the lena casually you don't want to do that especially if she has a stick like bruh that's like a negative damage nuke after she regens a bit so guys do not ever spend your your nukes in the early game just to chip people down you do that later on all right hear me on hear me out you do that later on but at level one absolutely not the queue is only used to secure creeps and then at level two, what you're going to do is you're going to want to take your your E. Now, he actually steps out of position here. And let's talk about this. This is another little laning thing you can fix on your Zeus game. So he pulls creep aggro. Fantastic. Always want to get the wave off of the high ground away from the Lena. So that's good. Then all he needs to do right now is stay really far back and cue the creeps. The lane is in a bad position right now, right, everyone? It's in a bad spot. And therefore, he needs to play like it's in a bad spot. It's, it's kind of that simple. So... Instead of walking up here, getting greedy for this creep, trying to auto attack it, he should say, okay, my lane's in a bad spot. I'm just going to start queuing every creep. So if the wave is on your high ground, you can try to right click more creeps. If it's on their high ground, maybe you need to use nukes more because otherwise this happens and you get right clicked a lot. Now getting into items that you're buying, if you go the typical build that I recommended, what you're going to want to do is ship out mangoes here and there. You can drop your stat item, use the mango for extra value, but most importantly, you're going to want to buy gnolls. Now, what I recommend is you finish the first null and then go bottle and then go back for the second null. Now this player goes for a straight up bottle rush. The only thing I will say is that this is okay against Lena as this is a hard matchup and having an early bottle allows you to play defensive. So moving on a little bit is your next major power spike on Zeus. And uh, just as a quick clarification for the laning stage, if you buy a bunch of clarities and mangoes and you have the nulls in the bottle, 
once you hit level like five, you can start really trying to solo kill your opponent if they're having a bad lane or maybe you, you kill them earlier for whatever reason. That's when I really recommend you start looking into pressuring people when either you get a rune or you have multiple nulls and clarities and mangoes, you have a lot of mana regen to actually keep it up. If you just nuke them a couple times, but you run out of mana trying, it's not worth it. And so just use that as a rule of thumb. Now, next up here, he's got his arcane boots. He's got his items, right? Things are going well as he baits this Lena in. Very nice. And the main thing I love uh, from Zeus here is that he started jungling exactly in minute seven. And you can see that gets him a keen optic. Neutral items are straight up broken on Zeus. Royal Jelly, absolutely fantastic. Let's see Flash Farm, Arcane Ring, Keen Optic. Ocean Art is even great. So just make sure when it hits minute seven, you're jungling. You're maxing out your Q first. It gives you 50. Team jumps. Want to know what that means? It means you can take stacks. And so when you're playing Zeus, what I recommend you do is at minute 5.53 and minute 6.53, you stack whatever can possible. Actually, this Zeus didn't do it this game, which is why I'm just saying it out loud. But I hope that makes sense and kind of allows you guys to get a lot more farm. As this version of Zeus is not really a ganker, it's a farmer. Can you gank? Sure. If you get a haste rune, by all means, use that haste rune to go gank. But for the most part, you just want to stay around mid, defend your tower, and that's what this Zeus is doing, which is probably why he's a top immortal player. Next thing to note is this haste rune, and this is a great example. Bounty runes just came up. 10 minutes in, pops this bottle charges, and he's gonna gank with it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I just love when players, you know, have this really nice formula to their game plan. Gonna stay mid, farm it up, farm it up, farm it up. Oh, I got a haste rune? Okay. I'm gonna go gank. It makes me not have to waste a lot of time, and it prevents the train from disengaging. Imagine if he tried that gank, with no haste. It wouldn't have worked. In this next example here, I want to show you guys how you can abuse this Aether Lens timing, even Keen Optic Aether Lens if you're lucky, on Zeus to help your team take towers. And actually, Zeus is very good at sieging if you manage to get to this Aether Lens timing earlier. Do keep in mind though, there are different Zeus builds. There are Zeus's who are currently going Yules. Uh, Topson actually likes to go three Nulls with, I believe, no Mana Boots if I'm not mistaken. He goes three Nulls in, with a bottle and a lot of clarities and neutral items into a Yules into bots. And yeah, so that's what uh, Topson goes. But personally, I think this is the most pub friendly build. Uh, going Aether Lens just keeps you alive. And you can see what he's doing here to the Tide is he's just queuing him. And this is what you do with this build. You do not want to just queue people when the fight starts. Once you have enough mana regen to stain this, you just want to queue them beforehand. You want to chip them down. So if at any point they try to initiate, the fight is already over. And that's how you should look at the Zeus build. It's really good at shipping people down. And so anytime you think your team wants to start a fight, look to just throw in a couple cues before the fight even starts. Now, as we watch him defend mid tower for quite a bit longer, which is frankly the number one thing you want to do as Zeus, besides ganking, uh, you know, low HP agility heroes as he picks up a lean and kill. Good positioning, always staying in the back. And the thing I disagree with is that he goes Kaya. I'm really just not a fan. You guys know this. I'm just not a fan of Kaya. Is it okay? It's okay. It gives you, you know, a decent amount of mana regen uh, as it amplifies your Aether Lens mana regen. But for the most part, I just, I'm just not a huge fan. So you might be asking, what should I go instead speed? I really like four staff. I like Yules. I like Blink. Personally, I like going Aether Lens and then a defensive item to keep myself alive. My theory on Zeus is that you're going to do plenty of damage. You just want to stay alive with that damage. And so buying a Kaya just doesn't accomplish that. I really prefer a defensive item that I, you know, list. Then after that defensive item, you know, feel free to buy a bunch of DPS items such as Kaya and Nags. So in this fight here, let's show his really good positioning. And this is exactly what you guys want to mirror in your game as well. Fight breaks out, insta Q, insta W. Great, right? You just want to get your spells off cooldown. Just cast them on the nearest person. Or, you know, if, if there is multiple targets, you want to cast it on the hero you can burst. That's usually, you know, how you should look at it. Then he backs up, and this is great. Anytime you're playing Zeus, you always want to cast your spell and back up. Cast your spell, back up. The only time you move forward is if your teammates picked off a bunch of people and you know there's no chance you can die. And you can see right here, max range Qs, prioritizing that completely over the W, and he gets a lot of damage. On top of that, because of his good positioning, the Terror Blade and the Phoenix have to overextend when trying to kill him, and he gets a bunch more kills. And that's really a big thing about positioning on Zeus. If you position properly, not only will you stay alive, you'll cause the enemy team to die when they're overextending trying to kill you. Okay, upcoming here is something that I, I don't necessarily think is Zeus specific. It's going to help you with any sort of squishy hero, any sort of caster. This TP is so bad. And I just have to point that out because I'm watching the game. I'm like, ugh, it, you know, it's just, it's so dangerous. Why do people just not think that their opponents can make plays? So they hook the Lino, right? Where should the Zeus TP? Not here. 
if Delina is standing here, where's her team? Potentially here, potentially here. Now, in this case, they were all the way back here. Why is Delina here when her team is over here? I have no clue. I have no idea. <laughs> but really, you never, ever, ever want to go in a place where you are even potentially ganked. He also has no buyback right now. He just bought back a second ago, which you guys did not see. But he has no buyback. So if he dies, they probably lose, right? Don't go near this hill. His TP should be here. I know it sounds like a small thing, but those things, like those type of plays, are really what separates good from great. The next thing that the Zeus does very well, though, you know, to on the, on the contrary, is he's very good about understanding when he needs to push in the lanes. Very often, people see Zeus as purely a tower defender, but actually, if you buy items like Blink and Bots, which I highly recommend, what you can do is exactly what he does here. Using your level 25 talent, especially when you get the arc lightning damage. Actually, some players are taking cast range. Keep that in mind, guys. There are some players who just prefer to just stay miles back in the fight, so there's very little chance they get jumped. But regardless of the talent you take, arc lightning is really good at pushing in waves. So his team ends up dying here. What is he going to do? Is he going to go back to the high ground to defend like most Zeus would? No, he's going to go push out the wave because this is what you do. Not only does it get you farmed, it also causes the enemy team to potentially have to back. And that's the best way to just get big and stall out games, especially as Zeus. Once you have these items, right? Once you have these items. In this next fight here, I, this is why I just want to talk about why I hate these Zeus builds so much. I just hate it. I hate it. <laughs> just go Glimmer or Ghost. If you go Glimmer, Ghost, or Force Staff, there's like no way you die. Also, next thing I want to mention as we look at this fight is the team comps. So this is a great Zeus game, by the way, in my opinion. They have very little jump. Uh, it's hard for Ty to get on top of you, especially if you know the fight's coming. You can always ulti to cancel his blink. Same thing for the tree, and you can reveal him to prevent him from getting on top of you. Phoenix is meh. Terribly, not really, usually, except for this fight. And Lina, not really. As long as you're sitting behind your cores, you're fine. They don't have a, a Puck or some Slark or Spectre, right? None of these heroes, so he's safe from that sort of jump. The next thing is that it's pretty decent with this team comp. I like it with the frontline e cores. So if you have a Sven, I think Zeus is good with Sven. It's good with uh, Spectre. It's good with Ursa. The only thing that he's lacking is a stun. You know, it's really good to have AoE stuns on your team. Examples are Tide. Uh, Centaur is great with Zeus to get you out. These are all great heroes that just keep Zeus alive. Now, in this fight, you're going to see why sometimes Blink isn't enough. Because if they get on top of you, Blink doesn't do anything. Blink is a good Zeus item. You just got to make sure you stay alive. So here, this Terror Blade is wrapping in from behind. So... He's actually currently smoked. He even bought a Blink Dagger just to kill the Zeus, which frankly I respect. He should have used meta before blinking in, but hey, he's catching the Zeus nonetheless. And now, the Zeus gets gone on. It's pretty hard for him to react to that, and he has no true defensive item, so he's going to end up going down, and he dies uh, with no buyback. Now, this fight doesn't end up going that poorly for them, but obviously if he was able to cast any sort of spells, it would have been absolutely legendary. And that goes back to an X point. I know this isn't really to help you as Zeus, but guys, if you're playing against Zeus, jump him. Smoke behind him. What the enemy team should do is if they see them coming up the high ground here, they should pop a smoke, walk down the high ground, around, and go jump the Zeus. Otherwise, you're going to lose the fight. It's the same thing as playing against a sniper. You have to. Literally, I watch Zeus's in lower bracket games just never get jumped, and it's the reason why the hero has a high win rate. All right, now to end off the video, let's look at some really nice positioning from our boy, Ito. And uh, yeah, Hook leads in onto the Lina. Obviously, he's going to follow it up with a Lightning Bolt. He's going to back up, though. I love that, right? He gets the kill, and he doesn't say, oh, I got a kill. I'm completely safe, right? It's like, oh, we pick off the Lina. Surely, we just instant win the fight, and I should blink in. No, 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 no. You should always be using your team as a marker for where your positioning should be. If they're here, you should be here. If they're here, you should be here, right? And that kind of just always applies. So he stays back. And because of that, the TB overextends, which gives his Snapfire time to react, right? Snapfire could see the TB coming in, which allows him to get the Yules off, which keeps the Zeus alive. And now he's able to disengage at the back. Uh, he does stay a little bit too far back here, in my opinion. He's slightly bad about casting his spells. Like his Q is taking him a little bit too long every time to cast, especially here. I don't know why he's so far away. I mean, Ravage has been committed. The Blink has been committed from TB. So not perfect positioning, but nonetheless... He was solid overall, and that's what it takes to get to the Immortal Bracket. It's not perfection, but it's pretty close to it. At least in my opinion, you know, per perfection is... What even is perfection? No one knows. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you the best of luck in your Zeus games. The main thing I recommend is, you know, really go for denies in the laning stage. In the early to the mid game, like minute 
7 to minute 15, you know, get your neutral items up and, and don't be afraid to farm. Your main objective should be to defend towers and look for fights where the enemy team is pushing into you, right? Don't go around chasing people the entire game unless you have a haste or you go this like bots yules build that Thompson does and then maybe you can start to make some crazy plays. But remember, sit behind your team, stay back, buy a defensive item after your Aether Lens or Yules, uh, you know, whatever it is. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Before you leave, just want to say a quick message. If you're trying to get better at Dodo or you just enjoyed that video, uh, I know this is pretty general and you're going to hear this quite a bit from me, but I recommend you sign up to GameLeap.com. Why? Because I put a lot of effort into the content over there and generally the effort I do there is different from the content you're going to see here on YouTube. It is different. In fact, I usually go a lot more in depth on topics or into niche topics that help you get to the next level even faster because on YouTube, I, I often have to keep it more mainstream. That's even why I'm putting it at the end of this YouTube video. That's why this is at the end because a lot of people just watch five minutes, they skip through just for like the dopamine spike. But if you are interested in actually getting better at Dota, I recommend you go to the description down below, get your discount right now by clicking the link, sign up, use the discount code that you're gonna see there. And I hope to see you there right now. So click it and uh, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.